Washington doing exactly what Beauty Counter has promised you all to do. We are here making a difference, sharing our voice, sharing our stories. We are having an incredible day here and you should be proud of Beauty Counter and what we're doing on your behalf here in Washington, state by state, city by city. It's been a really good day. It's been, um, it's been a long day. It started at about four in the morning, so we're all kind of tired. No reason to be nervous. It's kind of like if a new consultant is nervous about hosting your first social exact same thing. Um, just tell a little bit of your why story and um, maybe one of you, someone who has been with the company for a while, if you could just tell a little bit of beauty counter stories. We had some successful meetings with three different offices, the offices of Patty Murray from Washington State and Senator Collins from Maine and Senator Feinstein from California and those were all interesting as I'm kind of a newbie in in Washington. The main message is that we want the most health protective law possible. The cosmetics and personal care industry is unregulated and we're here to do something about it. We want to be your ally, we want to be helpful along the way. So many companies over promise and under deliver. I mean I think it's probably true of a lot of things in life but for us you know we really do want to affect change all the way to Washington and I remember when I first started raising capital for Beauty Counter people said don't tell investors that's what you want to do but we do and we believe that we can be both pro-commerce and pro-regulation. So uh, having this congressional briefing today was the step, a step in the right direction. Getting Greg on at least one news channel was going to be a huge success. So the fact that we were on three just, just it's amazing. Americans spend more than 50 billion dollars every year on beauty products but there's little oversight into what goes into them and one company is leading the charge for tighter regulations on this. Joining us now is founder and CEO of Beauty Counter, Greg Renfrew. Greg, thanks for being with us today. She was on Capitol Hill Tuesday to urge Congress to pass the tougher new legislation. It was exciting for us. It's the first time we've been able to really go public on national TV to speak specifically around our desire for cosmetic reform and not just talking about Beauty Counter is a company trying to get safer products into the marketplace. After the Fox and Friends interview came off, I, Greg just burst into tears. And I think it was a, a, the culmination of happiness and sadness. Being here in D.C. today I think really solidifies for me um, why, why I'm doing what I'm doing because it's something I can really get behind and it's something I believe in and I, I know that we are out here affecting change. Spreading the message that parents and families don't have to choose between products that are safe and products that perform and that their voice matters as a consumer. So if we can get all the senators and everyone on the Hill to get behind us and really see this as an issue for everyone in America, then I think we're on the right track. This is an opportunity for them to meet us face to face and they will come sort of travel distances to, to be with us, to connect with us. But we're an education first, product second. So when I talk to people and they leave the conversation and they might not purchase a product, but they go home and they check their products on EWG or they go toss a, some, their old deodorant, then, then I've done my job. To me, it was really nice to be a part of a company that can kind of lead by example and it's okay to advocate for change and also market your products. So Greg, uh, I moved here 13 years ago. So my first job was right over there on Capitol Hill. So to be part of this today was really awesome because I got to be behind the scenes as a kid as my very first job. To be in the senator's office, Senator Kane's office, my own senator um, today and seeing Hill staffers and telling them and knowing that they go back and they have to care about this because that's their job. Their job is to care about what we care about. It has become apparent to me that these things we know do not happen overnight. I'll be honest, when I joined Beauty Counter and I heard that this is something we were going to take straight to Washington, I was a little skeptical. I didn't know that that was something that was possible. And then I learned about things like lead paint being removed from households, smoking bans, those are public health issues. Those are things that have changed. We know better, so now we do better, and it affects our whole society. We are really walking the walk, and we are really serious about what we're doing. I want to leave a legacy with Beauty Counter, not just for myself and my family, and that's obviously very important to me, but I want to leave that for the people that I care about, for the community that I live in, for our country. If we don't continue to fight for this, like, who will?